maybe you think, no, life isn't that hard. It's like, oh, not only is it that hard, it's even harder than you think. So you're going to be tested, that's for sure. And if you have a sustaining meaning, then there's, there's well, Nietzsche said himself, uh, he who has a why can bear any how. Why would you look in the darkest places? Because in the darkest places, you can find what still shines. If it can shine in the darkest places, then you know it's a real light. And so you look at the things you don't want to look at. You have to look at the things you don't want to look at. Well, why do meaningful things? Well, first of all, what is meaning? But then why do meaningful things? And the answer is, well, because life is suffering and malevolence. It's ineradicable at its core. It's like, that will take you out. Make no mistake about it. You need something to, you need to be armed with virtue in order to, for that not to turn into hell. Really, you really need that. And it isn't just your hell, that's bad enough. And that can be really bad, especially when you're contributing to it, right? Because then not only are you suffering, but you know you're the agent that's producing the suffering. And then maybe that's not just for you, it's like you're taking out your family. If you're really good at it, you're taking out large swaths of your community. That's hell. It's like, and that's real. And no one with any sense and any experience has any doubt that that's real. And then they all can easily think of how, even though it's already bad, you could make it way worse. Everyone knows that. So what's the bulwark against that? Nobility of purpose. That's it. You have that, then you can, then, then you have something to set against the suffering and the malevolence. And you need, it isn't optional. That's not optional. You cannot live without it. Not meaning without is not optional, right? Well, that's and, why it's such a deep instinct. Right. It's an instinct meaning. It's the instinct of life. My life is meaningless. It's the spirit has gone out of you. It's like, well, me, but, and you know, the modern people, it's part of this process of criticism. We've criticized the idea of meaning so much that we don't really believe in it anymore. It's like, well, that's fine. You cannot believe it, but try living without it. See how far you get with that. You need a reason to get out of bed on a terrible day. Okay, what's that reason going to be? Well, let's think it through. You know people who can get out of bed on a terrible day. Do you admire them? Yes. What are those people like? Are they taking responsibility for themselves? Definitely. Do they have excess capacity so they're taking responsibility for other people? Yeah. Are they doing difficult things? Yes. Obviously. The more you respect them, the more you also see that they're doing difficult things and doing them well. So what does that mean? Do some difficult things. Do them well. So pick up your goddamn burden and, and walk up the hill. So, yep, I get it. And people do get it. And it's not surprising because that is the end. That's the alternative to hell. Accept the burdensome condition of suffering voluntarily and you transcend it. It's like, you, you've got a problem with the world? Hey man, no wonder you have a problem with the world. Like the world is a pretty rough place and it could use some work. It's like, have you done all your work? If the answer to that is no, then I would say, put in order what you can put in order. It's like, well, you have a problem. Okay, what's the problem? What are its constituent elements? What are the smallest implementable steps that we could take to start to, to address the problem? Implement the best plan that you have at hand. That's it. You'll learn. It won't be, a, it won't be the right plan. It doesn't matter. You'll learn. A, implementing that plan, you'll learn a whole bunch. And then the next plan you make will be better. Implement the best plan you have at hand. Don't remain in stasis. It's, you'll be, you get old way, way faster than you think. Time ticks away, man. Get at it. Get out there in the world. Have your adventure. Get the hell out there. Do something. Fail. Fail while you're trying. Then you'll learn why you failed. Then you won't have to fail again. It's like, aim at something and progress towards it. Then, you know, be willing to change your aim because what the hell do you know? But aim at something. And then at least you're oriented.